so what is basically rac when you join phd or it can be also called drc both refer to a kind of panel which is scrutinized and supervised uh, phd students or scholars performance each scholar is allotted uh, a five or six member panel who will supervise this we call it as rac in some universities and some universities we call it as drc so what do you mean by uh, rac first of all rac means research advisory committee and drc means doctoral review committee whatever may be the uh, meaning is the same so when you refer to rac or drc this uh, committee consists of five member panel the first one is any of your phd supervisor secondly you have uh, external and internal experts which means internal expert from your own department who is expert in your subject and external department may be or may not be expert in your subject but he can somehow guide you in different direction so with these three members are done fourth one is the chairman or hod who acts as a chairman and uh, <clears throat> fifth one is very very important external expert from other university somewhere so he'll be <clears throat> the one mainly giving you satisfactory or unsatisfactory report once in six months and last but not least research dean so dean research so you this role uh, a kind of panel will be observing your performance so you can go to anybody for help uh, but first preference is your supervisor mostly you will spend your time with your phd supervisor more than any others uh, but it is advisable that uh, you go to them for some other advice but not for the same as advice when you what you get from your phd supervisor so having said this uh, it happens this there is a meeting happens once in 6 months when you join in phd like for example phd is full time 3 years or 4 years <clears throat> so 3 years you will have this dc reviews or rac reviews once in 6 months once in a semester with with that you will have to attend 6 rac reviews rac meetings whatever you say you will be putting up some ppt presentation over there for some 10 to 15 minutes and uh, showing what you have been doing for the last 6 months your performance and all so that is what uh, rac or drc mean by default so if this panel is unsatisfied about your 6 months performance they may give you unsatisfied report and this becomes uh, a kind of trouble for you to continue phd normally it doesn't happen but if happens then which means unless you don't do anything it happens so that is why do not worry about unsatisfactory reports just prepare well for the ppt that what you have been doing for the last 6 months uh, that is done for 15 minutes and some suggestions are given for the upcoming 6 months or for the rest of your phd during that 6 uh, months review time so you can take those suggestions and again you reappear uh after again 6 months implementing those suggestions given by the doc rac or doctoral committee panel so this is what exactly happens but the, all the co- this is not interview as yes. so how to face this uh, uh, review meeting uh, the only one way to uh, find is uh, just be confident remove all the psychological fears phobias that 6 months time rac review means something they are going to do or sometimes you might have not prepared very well but don't worry you might have done something during the last 6 months so you can go ahead and uh, uh, give those uh, uh, what you have been doing those 6 months time so first of all prepare a good ppt presentation and uh, don't stuff everything into the phd just make sure you have to only write the headlines or the headings only the rest you will explain 
don't give all explanation in the ppt itself so one each slide may contain some five headings or three headings in such a way take about five to seven slides or up to 10 slides maximum and try to explain those headings in one minute or two minutes depending upon the time allotted to you by research dean so in that way what happens you strictly follow the timing plus within the timing you will be explaining whatever you have been doing during the last six months so this is what exactly you have to uh, do you have to face this RAC review and here uh, one suggestion is when you are facing this uh, RAC or DRC review once in six months with the doctoral panel you must not really uh, defendable you this is not the time to defend something this is the time to receive suggestions so here the main soft skill that will play a great role is silence so it is said in in a proverb silence is gold that is true so if you maintain this golden tip silence which means silence doesn't mean if they are asking some questions and you don't reply no if they are giving some suggestions which your mind does not agree you need to be silent there not defend again because that is the time to receive suggestions whether your mind feels it right or wrong that is we will see at a later stage but RAC is meant to receive guidelines and suggestions for uh, your own improvement for the upcoming uh, PhD journey so you have to think in this way so try if try to uh, do something in the six months because uh, the best things that you can do in the six months is first first one attend one international conference attend one national conference and thirdly write one research paper and communicate or if possible publish in a very peer reviewed or double blind, re blind reviewed or a scopus sca or right triple if you are depending upon your branch uh, publish in a reputed journal or at least communicate or at least write some paper in the six months and attend one international workshop or national workshops uh, which have a good longer duration everything must be uh, connecting to your phd topic don't deviate your phd topic and attend these things so these are the things which you are going to show once in six months the progress and development during that six months and also uh, read all the primary resources and secondary sources and tell them what are the primary sources you are reading and secondary sources you are reading so your doctoral panel will give you some suggestions to read these books and those books or to eliminate this one or change the title or modify the title all these suggestions will be very automatic and very common you don't get uh, uh, like afraid or don't get something intimidated when somebody corrects you that way it is very common thing so take that way very positively cool and attend uh, that uh, uh, RAC in a simplest, simplest manner possible. Thank Would you. anyone like to offer Ranjit constructive feedback about his presentation? Any tips for what he might do differently next time? For example, were you all able to hear what Ranjit was saying? Not, Not really. really. He needs to speak louder and face the audience. Yes. Great suggestion. Anyone else? He was reading from his paper, so it didn't feel like he was really talking to us, you know? Exactly. It's important when you're speaking to look up every sentence or two and make eye contact with someone in the audience. Anything else that Ranjit could do to appear more relaxed and feel more confident? He could smile more. Yes. Smiling makes us feel relaxed. Oh. And make sure your phone is off before you speak next time. <laughs> <laughs> I do have one more suggestion. To connect with listeners, it's a great idea to use a personal story or experience as an example. Can you try that next time? I think so, yes. Next week, my presentation will be about the causes and effects of stress. We look forward to hearing it.
Ranjit is first up again today, and I look forward to his new presentation. Jorge, could you dim the lights, please? Good morning. Today I'd like to talk about the causes and effects of stress and how to cope with stress. Stress has many causes, including work or school, life events, changes, or unrealistic expectations of yourself. Some effects of stress include headaches, trouble sleeping, Great work, Ranjit. I want you all to reflect on how much stronger today's presentation was. Ranjit looked us in the eyes. He spoke clearly. He smiled at us. And he used a personal anecdote to help us feel more connected to him. Well done. Thank you, sir.